Welcome to Canyon Tune. It's October, spooky season. You know else is spooky? Sound of this LS engine. See, my C5 only has 30,000 short miles on it, but it's had a pretty hard life. And one thing, major issue when I bought the car, I got the car for fairly cheap for a C5 Z06. The going rate these days is super high premium. Everyone wants these cars. Uh, so one of the major problems when I bought this thing was it had some severe lifter tick. The lifter tick did go away when the motors warmed up, but I had a feeling that the previous owner might have overheated the engine. And I say that because the lifter trays are plastic and they tend to warp and skew a little bit and the lifters stay in those plastic lifter trays in place. So if those warp or move around or melt under high engine temperatures, um, those lifters aren't going to be in the right place and they can have some tick because there's some play between the cam and the lifter and the push rod. So I think the plan of attack today is we're going to be starting with taking the valve covers off, uh, looking at the top end to see if there's anything apparent or loose, and then we'll probably move on to taking the cylinder heads off. The other reason I'm taking the cylinder heads off is on cold start, I have some white smoke coming out of the driver's side bank. Um, and this car does drink quite a bit of coolant and it does overheat. So I'm thinking I have a head gasket issue or a warped head on the driver's side. Again, because I think the previous owner overheated the motor. With that little stock radiator in there um, that I had swapped out, it was just not doing the job for racing applications. So had a feeling that they pushed it a little bit too hard and kind of blew the engine on this thing. I'm in here, figured I'd be doing a couple extra upgrades. Um, so first thing is we're gonna be doing the trunion upgrade, which is replacing the needle bearings with a like roller bearing in the rocker arm. So it can handle like higher, higher RPM loads and then the other thing is probably better head gaskets. I know there's a couple other options other than GM factory gaskets that hold a little bit better. Um, and then I'm probably gonna be running some ARP head studs and then gonna be changing out the cam. LS6 cams are pretty decent, um, but I feel like a lot of the power is, is mainly top end. I'm gonna be swapping that out for a Tick Performance Stage 3 um, Torque Max cam, it's called. Uh, and that should bring the power curve up in the middle area, kind of like where it'd be driving the most with this car in the canyons. Um, and lower RPM grunt will be bumped up too. So it's not one of those crazy, super high chop, um, you know, power is at 7,000. You have to like wring the, the car's neck to really get any power out of it. I wanted usable power out of this car, so I'm choosing a cam for the right application. I had an LS2 and a C6 Corvette, and I put a stage three tick performance cam in there, the street heat version. And man, that didn't make power until like 5,000 RPM. So I do not want to go that route. Uh, that's really for like drag racing and nitrous cars and, and stuff like that. So I really want a lot of usable torque and a really rich wide band of torque um, to make this usable. Um, probably going to be doing headers and then a fast LSX intake and, and, and then the actual intake itself. Probably going to be swapping that out and then Probably a bigger throttle body. I'm gonna have to look into that as well. First thing we're gonna be doing here is taking these valve covers off to see if there's anything, you know, apparent that maybe one of the rocker arms broke or broke a valve spring or something, but I highly doubt it. And then if I don't find anything there, um, manifold's coming off, the heads are coming off, which is gonna be a pain because 
the uh, power steering pump is an absolute pain to take off on these cars. I had a little trick I did last time because uh, I actually had to take the pump off twice. Um, so hopefully I'll have a little bit of a shortcut way. And then the cam install is going to be a little bit interesting because you have to take the steering rack out on these cars. So uh, one little trick with that is to lower the front subframe all the way down as far as you can without taking it off. And then you can actually slip the um, that steering rack out on the driver's side um, and pass it through where it needs to go. The other thing I'm gonna be installing is a Summit Racing um, crank pulley. The stock one is wobbling and if you've ever owned a Corvette or LS motor, the stock dampers are junk, get rid of it uh, because they will fail and leave you stranded or you know, tear the belt, not, not a good situation. And then I had this oil cooler, which I'll be installing as well because the headers will be off. It'll be easier to get to. Um, that's probably going right where this license plate is. Um, I'm gonna be dremeling that plastic piece out and this will fit right in there. And then I'll probably, um, it's gonna be recessed a little bit um, and I'm gonna be throwing a little screen over the top of it to protect it from rocks, but that should give it a pretty cool look. If you guys aren't subscribed already, now is a good time because if you're into LS motors or Corvettes or like what I'm doing here, um, I'm gonna be doing a whole month long build series on this. I'm probably gonna be posting videos every couple of days. Um, the only real weight I'm gonna have is probably some of the parts are a little bit back ordered with all these supply chain issues, it's been crazy. So I may be down for a couple weeks on that, but I really want to get this thing done as fast as possible because here in Arizona it's nice and cool outside and we don't really get that opportunity very often so now is a good time to drive your cars. Yeah, just uh, kind of playing with these rocker arms. There's nothing really abnormal that I've seen. Usually if these needle bearings go out, you'll see the little needles in, you know, caught up in here in the head, kind of in the oil pan, in the oil, um, and these rockers will move a lot more than this, but this is fairly normal play for these. I guess the other thing I could do probably is just to see if any push rods are bent. I mean, I highly doubt it, but it's possible. Um, so I could take off all these rockers and check out all the push rods to see if they're good. Just kind of putting these in order. Okay, so we got all the lifters and push rods out. Sorry, rockers and push rods out. Um, actually, the front one on this side was quite loose. It was like not even hand tight. So this rocker here probably could have been making some of the noise, but I highly doubt it. Um, also, I'm finding quite a bit of sort of like a mix of coolant and oil in the cylinder heads. You can kind of see it on the sides here. Um, I just feel like quite a bit of like coolant was getting into the oil and that's not a good time. So uh, next we're gonna take the intake and intake manifold off. Looking too bad on the intake ports, although it's a 
couple here that have a lot of oil on them. I do have an oil catch can, so who knows. <laughs> Probably be swapping out these knock sensors too. We'll see. But uh, next step is I need to get the accessories off of the heads. So like I was saying, this uh, power steering pump pulley is gonna be quite fun to take off. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I think I made pretty good progress for today. I'm gonna probably end it here and then pick up tomorrow. Um, it's mostly unbolted. I just have to get this one header off and this bracket was not fun to take off, but I think I can actually get away with without taking the entire power steering out because this unbolts from the head and it's all free. So that hood, that uh, should be able to come out, slide right out. Um, I have to take off the steam port uh, stuff and that's pretty much it. The header bolts, um, some of them were stripped on that side. It looks like they were already taken out. I don't understand. <laughs> and there's one random ARP uh, like head bolt in there, which was very odd. So 